Uh, and uh, just to kind of catch everybody up, this sold out show we're talking about took place on January 25th, 1997. Uh, sold out, of course, is S O U L E D instead of S O L D, but it was actually both. It was sold out, uh, and this happens at a time when the WWF and WCW are running monthly pay per views. ECW hadn't yet started at the pay per view game until that April, uh, but I found it interesting here that WCW didn't run a pay per view that January, but the NWO did. Mm. Uh, and of course, we know now that Eric Bischoff had a plan to try to run this as a separate brand. Uh, but if that were the case, I'm curious, Tony, why not try to run two pay-per-views that month just to see if the NWO could stand alone on its own? Was this just kind of something he freestyled once they already had the building and the plan and then just switched it from a WCW pay-per-view to an NWO once it yeah. started to take off? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, uh, those pay-per-views were, were booked well in advance with not only the uh, the arenas but also with uh, with cable operators. So you can't just – all of a sudden, in the first part of January, at least back then, could not say, "All right, we're going to have two pay per views this month." Uh, so that was that was that was freestyling, making the the WCW uh, pay per view event an NWO pay per event, and see how it went. That's what that was. And the uh, the kayfabe reason that the NWO <laughs> has a pay per view here is because they've won the Fall Brawl, uh, the War Games in September mm-hmm. of '96. Um, when do you remember? this topic of it being an all NWO pay-per-view and, and trying to make a run as it being a separate brand. When did that really start? Of course, the NWO starts in May. Uh, well, I guess technically July of 96. Here we are now, you know, a handful of months later, six months later. When do you remember that conversation first coming up? I think when the NWO first started and especially when Hulk Hogan joined and, and, I think, and and Eric became a part of it. If we we'll call Eric was the first announcer for Nitro, right? And then he, once he became part of the NWO, they used me on Nitro. I think going all along, there was thought that man, this is so hot, we're probably going to have to look at doing our own, having a separate brand. So I think that was probably once uh, that was established, NWO was hot. I, I, I had heard about talk like that all along, hoping that we would get there. And now here by January of 1997, I guess we thought we were there. 